right, guys. Well, we didn't make it to the track because too many things going on. The heat first. They were closed. Then they had some other stuff going on with motorcycles. And then for some reason, so let's see. Friday night it rained. Yesterday. Saturday and Sunday. Yesterday. Saturday and Sunday was, uh, they were, I don't know, they were just closed. It said closed. And then uh, we were going to go Tuesday night. And we had that big storm come through here. And that got canceled. So right, it's been too long. What we're going to do is we're going to undo the front end here. Take the nose off. But we're going to take the injectors out. So everything in here, we keep the fuel full to keep the moisture out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drain it. Everything's mounted back here, fuel pump. It's a cable-driven fuel pump filter, all the lines, everything. So we're going to drain the fluid out. And then, so we don't have to do this every time because this, this ain't that great an idea here. They make a filter that has a shutoff valve on it. So I'm going to put that filter in here. Well, what size is the one that we that you bought? Or that's for the smaller. Right, that's a smaller one. So we're gonna put right, the we're gonna put the turn. number ten in a shut off, and we're gonna put a number twelve in shut off. This way, all we gotta do is shut the fuel off, leave all the tank full, and all we gotta do is take the injectors out. Yeah. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to drain everything out, take the injectors out, wash them, clean them, lube them up, put them back in the box. Because it looks like we're not going anywhere for at least another week and a half. And that's that. Okay. So take we took these lines off first. Drain some of the gas. That's why it makes kind of a mess, so we're going to be putting the shutoff switches in it. Uh, I'm plugging all the injectors. It'll unplug here. Fuel rails come off with just a little Allen key. Two of those. So everything is pretty much serviceable pretty quick, except for the valves. Once we put them valves in, we won't even have to take that apart. Yep. So basically what happens is you just undo the rail. They just easy pop like on. And there's the injectors. That's one. Uh, let me go get the keys real yeah, quick. Yeah, we're going to put them in order, too, and then I'll show you how we clean them. Okay. All those go in, in order. Be careful when you don't rip it, pulling it out. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna go in the other shop. 
blow them out, lube them up. Put them away. All right, so this is the process of what we do to store the injectors while they're not being used. These are atomizer threes, 550s. Okay, uh, these came from TKM. They actually got their logo written right on them, but they're atomizer threes, 550s. Yeah, like, yeah. TKM. Right. Um, they're really expensive. So you, you want to make sure that you take care of them. So we make this little cup that goes on the end of this. A little piece of rubber. Okay. And this is per... This is what you want to call if you need injectors. Okay. Yep. This dude is awesome. I haven't met him in person, but I talked to him on the phone a bunch of times when we were getting the car running. Just so you want to know, this, this is customer service right here. We had an injector hang up on us while we were trying to get the car running. My fault had it must have caught little, a little, little, little piece. piece. I mean, a little speck of something got caught under the pintle, under That's the spring. Right. They tell you use the so paper towel. I called him up and he explained to me how to clean it. But he told me if you really need one, I'll send you one, and you send me that one back overnight, and he he would take care of it, cleaning it, because I didn't really feel comfortable taking it apart. And then he told me, I'll send you one anyway, just to keep it as a spare. But I didn't need it. But that's the kind of customer service he was. this guy has. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go from the back. Right? This sits in the car like this. Rails on top. There's alcohol in here, methanol in here now. So what you want to do is you go here, hold it tight. And you hear that little... You hear that? That's, that brr, brr, brr. that's the spring. That's there. the spring. So nothing came out of there, right? Nice all, and clean. clean. So now that it's clean, you want to take PB Blaster, put it in the hole, stick it all the way down in there, and basically fill, get past the hole, and fill it up. And it's okay if it gets on the outside. It doesn't matter, yeah. And what this does is this will get down Way there you go, there it goes in there. That's where we want to go and fill it up with fluid like that, and that'll protect the seals and won't have any issues. And when we go put these back together, blow them out again, and they're thing. ready to go. Put them in, okay. So you're basically going to put this up against the bottom and then and as long as you get all the alcohol out of it like that. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. so after you're after you know they're full they come with these little caps, put the cap back on it. Now they're nice and sealed. Nothing will get in them. Got a little storage thing they gave you. you just put them away. Set nice to go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, also, we're going to put a link in the in the subscription. We have a PayPal account and a Venmo account. If anybody wants to donate anything, we're looking for some sponsors. Um, you know, whatever. We can work something out if you want to just donate something or if you want to advertise. The car is going to get a lot of uh, a lot of attention. So we're looking for some sponsors. To, it gets expensive doing this stuff. So anybody that can help us out, be more than happy to sponsor you and give you a shout out. And we appreciate you guys. So and don't I'll forget to a, like and subscribe. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description for the injectors, guys, yep. for Automizer. You can look them up. That's how we do that. So we're going to do all these. We don't have to watch you do all that. But that's basically the, the process of cleaning them and keeping them maintained. And he recommends you doing this. If you're not going to use the car, you know, if you're not going to run the car for more right. than a couple of weeks. Right. I'm I mean, take the car's already been down for two weeks and it's probably going to be down for another week and a half. I'm not going to take any chances. So it's not really that big of a deal. Once we put them shutoff valves in there, it's a half hour job.
and you know for injectors that are a couple of grand you want to make sure you're <laughs> you're taking care of them all right so that's that's that for today that's basically the video we're going to show you for today uh we're going to hopefully get to the track next week um and then we'll put all the stuff back together you don't have to watch us put it back together but basically reverse of what we're doing all right we're going to order up those valves get all this back together and we're going to do another little video. Next video will be on the Falcon.